Hi, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. I'm Dan Osen. I'm here with Audrey, Sam, Yoriko, and Mr. Aonuma. We are going to take a look at some live gameplay of the Nintendo Switch version of one of my favorite Legend of Zelda games, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So, Sam, please go ahead and kick us off. Yeah, absolutely. Right. This is a <laughs> fine, fine choice for favorite game, Dan. Um, uh, as you can see right off the bat, this is a beautifully reimagined version of Coholent Island. Um, it, it looks like a, a clay diorama come to life, honestly. Um, there's a beautiful... Sorry, I had to break the pot. Mm -hmm. It's over now. He's just yeah, chowing he down it. on those just bananas. Had to. I know. <laughs> um, but I, I love this beautiful tilt shift uh, visual effect we've got going. Oh, There's kind gorgeous. of an ethereal haze off uh, on the corners of the screen. So it's just a really lovely reimagining of this classic game. And since we're lucky enough to have aonuma san here, I was hoping uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, the creation of this art style and why it was chosen uh, to reimagine Coholent Island. And so, actually, this game, I wasn't actually involved in the creating it. I was just a player playing this game. で、その時、あの、その当時ね、ゲームボーイで遊んでるわけですけど、あの、このゲームボーイの小さなこのそんな感じのイメージになるように、えっと、グラフィックを考えてみました。And so when I played it on the original Game Boy version, uh, it was on this small screen, and it felt like a small world, but very vast as well. And so it was kind of had this tilt shift perspective, and so that's why I thought this miniature diorama-like art style would be perfect for this uh, game. It, it really is the perfect way to bring this world to life, and. Uh, Oh, uh, oh, oh, I didn't no. mean it. I'm sorry, <laughs> much. I didn't mean that. I only mean to hit Kukos. <laughs> so, um, Don't do that either. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> we careful. hard disagree on that point. Um, so I'm going into the Chindi game shop here, and uh, even fans who played the original game are going to notice a little bit of a difference here because there are actual real crane physics going on here. So I'm going to try my best to get this Yoshi figure. But the it's pretty difficult with the crane. <laughs> yeah, the crane physics make this a lot more fun, I think. And uh, speaking of Yoshi... It's looking good. <laughs> oh, I might... Oh, yeah, am I going to pull It's looking it pretty good. Oh, oh no. No, oh, it slipped almost. out. That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> so close. I know. But uh, speaking of Yoshi, that's not uh, a face that you usually see in Zelda games. Um, so since we have Dan here, who worked on the original localization of the game, perhaps you could just really quickly... Uh, I want to ask Dan what it's, it was like to see a Mario face in a Zelda game for the first time. Well, I was surprised as anyone. Uh, you know, I think uh, the, the team was trying to create sort of an otherworldly atmosphere and bringing in some things that would make people kind of wonder, you know, what's going on here? Yeah. And I think that adds to the mystery of the story and, and is really like uh, a great feature of this game. And I think... Uh, really makes it feel like a different world. Yeah. Absolutely, it really does. And um, like we said, this is a true, I'm gonna try and get that heart one more time. I won't make people watch me <laughs> fail over you and over again. You got plenty of rupees. I do. Just keep going. But um, <laughs> this really is a truly classic Zelda game um, brought to life. So I was hoping Al numa san could tell us uh, oh, what wow. it was like returning to a more traditional <laughs> Zelda game after working on uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So Breath of the Wild was completed now. Again, what kind of traditional Zelda can you tell us about the game? This game was made 26 years ago. So now, it's increased the time to play it. So I thought it would be a chance to play it. I thought it would be a chance to play it. I thought it would be a chance to play it. I thought it would be a chance to play it. I thought it would be a chance to play it. I thought it would be a chance to play it. I always wanted to remake this title. And we're so, so very glad that he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I talked to a guy now. Oh, じゃあ, なぜ今なのかっていうことなんですけど、やっぱりその、えっと、ゼルダの今までの伝統的なあの遊びをこう変化させて、あの生まれ変わったブレスオブザワイルドを多くの人に遊んでもらって、今だからこそ、こういうね、また伝統的なあのゼルダのゲームも、あの
、えー、と新鮮に楽しんでもらえるんじゃないかなと思って今アニメイクすることにしたんです。And so why now you might ask? It's just because we thought, well, Breath of the Wild broke the convention of Zelda. And now because a lot of people have played Breath of the Wild, they could go back to something a more traditional Zelda like Link's Awakening. And we hope that this gameplay will be fresh for people.、Mm -hmm. It absolutely feels brand new. I've played Link's Awakening probably a million times, but this, this feels like a brand new game. It's, it's absolutely delightful. And so、um, now that I somehow managed to get that Yoshi doll out of that crane game, I'm going to chop all the grass in the world. No, I'm not really.、Um, uh, this Yoshi doll is actually a part of a pretty、um, vast trading quest in this、right. game. So I'm going to go. Into this house, which I love looking around. There's so many little <laughs> details in this house. There's like chopped up piece of fruit on that cutting board,、uh, all these little beds in a row. I love how、toys. they're all bunched up together.、Yeah. Uh -huh. I suppose if you want to get into the one at the very end, you have to get in the first one and just roll <laughs> all the way over. Absolutely. So before I do this lady a favor,、yeah. I didn't mean to throw that at her baby. <laughs> She's holding a baby. I didn't mean to throw that at her baby, but I'm doing her a solid here, so it's fine. <laughs> And then break her pots, throw things at her baby, and then give her a Yoshi doll. Yeah, okay, yeah. fair trade, I suppose. <laughs> Absolutely. And so, in exchange for that, I got a ribbon, and then I can exchange the ribbon with someone else in this world. So, everybody wins. So, I know、uh, that Audrey touched on it a little bit earlier with Dan, but Dan, you did work on the original localization for this title.、Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and this world is filled with all kinds of different charming and quirky characters. And, and I was wondering if、uh, you had any particular favorite. <laughs> It's really hard to pick a favorite because there are so many.、Um, I was trying to think of a good answer for this, and the only one I could remember was that alligator named Sail.、Oh, yeah. This is how you think. Right? <laughs> I don't know why he stuck in my mind, but I just thought it was very funny that there was an alligator named Sail who would sell you things. <laughs> <laughs> but I want, I, I'm curious what Aonuma san's favorite characters yeah, are. Yeah, Aonuma san's favorite character is who? All right, so I'm going to go to the camera. ワンワンっていうね、あのえっと、マリオに出てくるキャラクターですけど、本当にあのネタバレになっちゃうんで、あんまり言えないですけど、すごい活躍をしてくれて、もう僕はずっとこのワンワンと一緒にいたかったぐらいです。And so, as you can see on the screen,、um, my favorite character is Bow Wow. You know, he, he's kind of a maybe familiar face from the Mario series. And I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to go spoiling everything, but you know, I honestly hope that I could travel the whole world with. Bow wow.、Yeah. <laughs> That's a solid choice. And look, there's a little baby one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> and so,、uh, my favorite character is actually Marin. And、yeah. I'm going to、mm. go and talk to her right now.、Uh, the, the story, actually, again, we're not going to spoil anything, but Link、uh, is shipwrecked on this island, and Marin actually rescues him. And so then he has to go and try and find a way off of this seemingly inescapable island by finding the eight instruments of the sirens and awakening the windfish. And Marin here is singing my,、uh, one of my all time favorite songs, Ballad of the Windfish. It's an original song from this game.、Uh, it's absolutely heartbreakingly gorgeous.、Um, it's hard not to get emotional listening to <laughs> it. It really is. I'm not going to tear up. I、yeah. promised myself I wouldn't, but it's really beautiful. I have to go ahead and grab this cuckoo just to lighten the mood. <laughs> So I don't cry. But,、um, yeah, all of the music in the, the segment. <laughs> yes,、yeah, so、Zelda is known for its music,、yeah. and this game is no exception. The music, the sound design, everything is just expertly done, as all Zelda games are. And so, one other thing I want to do here is I'm going to jump in a well, because、yeah. that seems to me like a good idea.、Yeah. Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah. So, there I go. And my brilliant yeah, plan and paid off. Yeah, in this case, you're、heart. rewarded for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kiddos. <laughs> so,、uh, we already asked about your favorite character, a l n u m a s a n but there's so, so much to love about this game.、Uh, could you tell us what your favorite thing about this game is? <laughs> 今作で好きなキャラの話をしていただきましたけど、今作でアヌマさんが好きなことは何でしょうかあああのこのゲームね、えっと、2D マリオの,あのプロデューサーの手塚もが作ったっていうこともあって、さっき言ったワンワンとか、あのマリオのキャラクターがすごくあのいろんなところに出てくるんですね。So,、um, as many of you may know, Mr. Tezuka was involved in creating The Link's Awakening. And so, as like, characters like Bow Wow, you see Mario characters that usually aren't in the Zelda series. And then, in the dungeon, 
横スクロールの画面が出てきたりとかあの今までのね今までとかこの後もそうなんですけどゼルダにない要素がたくさん入っているとっても異色作なんですよ。And so, um, if... A lot of the dungeons even have side scrolling stages, which is again not very something you see、uh, often in the Zelda series. <laughs> and the character is very good. 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 Um, the characters also are very memorable. They're lively, they're comical, but they also bring tears to your eyes, you know?、Mm-hmm. And so、um, a lot of that influenced what,、uh, what I had to do when I was developing Zelda going forward.、Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And、uh, you may have seen a second ago, I was using my shield. I want to point out that a huge、uh, UI improvement of this game is that your sword, shield, things like your power bracelet,、uh, Pegasus boots are always equipped. Uh, which is a huge improvement on the original because that frees up、uh, your Y and X button for whatever else you want to equip, and it just makes things a lot easier. And that's one of the things I really love about this version of the game is that it, it retains the classic feel and personality of the original, but with the just perfectly refined UI of modern Zelda games, which、yeah. is really, really cool to see. And one last thing I'm going to point out here in Maybe Village is、uh, we see Dompe's shack mentioned on、yeah. this sign. And that's kind of interesting because Dompe was not originally in this game.、Yeah. And what is he doing in this game? I'm not going to tell you, but we're <laughs> going to tell you a little bit later in this segment. Just a little bit of a tease. But、uh, I think I've explored Maybe Village enough. And I'm going to go ahead and show us a little something else. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, full, of, full of secrets on this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, we're very, very excited to announce that the Color Dungeon is indeed in this version of the game.、Um, this, uh, the Color Dungeon was first introduced in the DX version from、uh, the Game Boy Color, and this is the complete version. Uh, of this. So, as I said, we're very, very happy to confirm that the Color Dungeon is in this game. Right. Color, maybe not quite as novel as it was <laughs> on the Game Boy Color, but still really neat to see that all of the content of that DX version is, is represented here. Absolutely. And as you can see, these camo goblins kind of sink into the ground in their various colors. And as you can see, I'm going to break you the pots. You have to break pots. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because we're playing a Zelda game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience, Aonuma san,、yeah. while, while I break all these pots. <laughs> so,、uh, this is a puzzle.、Uh, I'm not going to go too far into this dungeon. I don't want to spoil it for everybody. But basically, you hit these switches, and it changes the、uh, switches next to them. I've played this about a billion times, so I know, I know well, what I'm doing know, here. You know what to do here. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> And I'm not going to go too much farther, but I would be remiss as a Zelda fan if I let this clearly bombable wall pass me. All、oh, right. So、yeah. it's got cracks in it. It makes a different sound when you hit it with your sword. It's begging to be bombed. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do it justice. Oblige. Boom. <laughs> And I'm rewarded with a room full、Oof. of rupees, which is one of the best things in the world. Please go ahead. To be honest, <laughs> I'm going to get them all. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We can go about our business. Da na na na. I'll stop being a nerd now and just get the rest of the rupees. <laughs> all right, and、uh, that was all I'm going to show you of the color dungeon.、Uh, as I said, it's just kind of a sneak peek. And now we're going to show you something that's brand new to the game. Take that, it away, Sam. That's right. So we saw this in the Nintendo Direct. But there was a, a new little bit that was added to the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. So, just as the Color Dungeon was brand new content for the DX version, what we've got here for the, for the Nintendo Switch version is called the Chamber Dungeon. And just to give you an idea of where we are in the world here,、uh, we're in Taltal Heights, and we're、uh, right, least just slightly to the east here of this Moblin hideout, we see、uh, this new location. And、uh, this is something that uh, uh, DX players might recognize as being、uh, the camera hut, but 
But in this game, it's something brand new. It looks like a shack. Yeah, it looks a little <laughs> bit like a shack. And it's filled with our friend Dompe here. He was looking for an adventuring assistant, too. I think. Right, yes. yeah. So this is something that I actually wanted to ask Anumasan about, about the introduction of Dompe into the world of Link's Awakening. He wasn't he wasn't originally here on Koholan Island. So would you like to talk a little bit about what he's doing here and about maybe some of the inspiration behind the Chamber Dungeon? Dompe's あの、ね、このダンペさんってえっと、時の and so many of you may know, Dampe was maybe in, uh, I think, Ocarina of Time, and he was a gravekeeper there. Um, but in this game, he's going to be the one that introduces you to the new uh, game called Panel Dungeons, or あの, Chamber Dungeons. Panel Dungeons is a puzzle piece of a puzzle. あの、パネルにしてですね。それを並べることで実際のそのダンジョンがあの、アレンジできるっていうそういう遊びでそのお題をですね、このダンペさんが出してくれるっていうそういう遊びになってます。and so what are ch um, chamber dungeons? So they are where you can create your own dungeons. If you complete a dungeon, you get pieces that you for each room that you cleared, and you can rearrange them to make your own dungeon. And so Dampe will be the one that introduces you to challenges in creating chamber dungeons. The dungeon え、and so I've always wanted to create a way for players to create their own dungeon, but I didn't want to make it anything too hard. So just like a puzzle or solving a puzzle, I wanted to make this uh, chamber dungeon easy enough for people to play and feel like they're solving a puzzle. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And you can see here, so I've started a little bit of a dungeon arrangement here. And the way these uh, chambers are arranged up at the top here, they're categorized in depending on how many doorways they have. So you can see here, these are all uh, chambers that have one doorway. Uh, these are all chambers that have two, etc. And then you can see they're further categorized into where the, the doorways are uh, exiting out of the chambers. So uh, a few things about dungeon arrangement in the chamber dungeon. Um, you'll need to make sure that you have at least an entrance and a nightmare. Those are kind of the, the primary components of, of any dungeon. But also you'll want to make sure that all of the doorways are connected to other doorways. Um, so you can't leave any of those uh, just hanging or unfulfilled there. Um, so you can see I'm starting to make a little bit of a dungeon arrangement here. Uh, and you might notice a few other things. So uh, some of these chambers have uh, icons on the underneath of them. And those give you an idea of the sorts of features that are available in this particular chamber. So you can see this one has a treasure chest and this one has a staircase. And some of them have locked doors. If you're using uh, locked doors, you need to make sure that you include enough chambers to s that with treasure chests to supply enough keys for you to get through all of those locked doors. And the way those stairways connect is really fun because uh, what you can do is uh, if you use stairways, they'll automatically create a sub area that you'll have to go through between the two stairways. And that's one of those 2D side-scrolling sections that Anuma-san was talking about a little bit earlier. And you might see some fun enemies in there. But uh, so this is like a Picross-like puzzle. So the chamber dungeon, unlike any other dungeon before, you arrange these yourself, um, but they're, they're challenges. You have to go through this puzzle portion of the arrangement. And once you're finished with that, then you have to adventure through your dungeon. So the challenge comes in two parts. Uh, the, the chamber dungeon can actually take a little bit of time to arrange. Uh, like I said, it is a puzzle, so it takes some time to get through. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through the entire thing uh, just here. So I'm gonna skip ahead to one that I have arranged previously. If if it if it works, and, and you're very very devious, so I'm sure that it's full yeah. of all kinds of terrible awful yeah. things. I seem to have a, a little bit of issue with the controller here. Let me try and get that sorted out. 
But uh, while while we're doing getting this uh, figured out, I was wondering if uh, Anumasan could talk a little bit about the Chamber Dungeon and how it mixes up the gameplay for someone who has already played through the the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. このパネルダンジョンの,あの追加であの過去にゲームを遊んだ方でも遊んでない方でもどのようなプレーをあの期待できますでしょうかそうですねあのオリジナルはあのえ遊ばれた皆さんの,あの記憶に、ね、強く残るあのそういうゲームだったと思いますけど実はあんまりダンジョンのことは覚えてない人が多いんじゃないかなと思うんですけど。So I know this game left a strong impression on many players, but honestly, I don't know if everybody remembers exactly how to play everything. <笑>で、あのえっとこのパネルダンジョンってそのパズルを解くような形で、あの感覚でそのえっとダンジョンをアレンジするっていうお話をしましたけど、あのそこまで遊んできたダンジョンの記憶をもとに。あのそれであのダンジョンをこうアレンジするとですねまたちょっとこう面白いダンジョンが作れるんでえこれをこうあのえっと本編のダンジョンをクリアしながらこのあのパネルダンジョンも遊んでいくとそのダンジョンの記憶っていうのがすごく強く残るものになるんじゃないかなと思ってます。And so, as I mentioned earlier, this is just like figuring out a puzzle. So, if you go back to your memories of how you、uh, completed the dungeon and then play this dungeon as well, I think it will leave a very strong impression while you play. And also, if you play this while the you progress the main story, I think it will even, even leave a stronger impression. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got this up here now, and you can see、uh, now that there's a little green check mark there next to the fill up your hearts challenge. Oh,、well, I guess I should have explained that.、Uh, so, the, this particular challenge, you needed to fill in every single one of the empty tiles with a chamber.、Um, and so, this one I've already completed. You can see I've cleared it. And when you complete it, you get a clear time. And you'll see that that's seven minutes and 42 seconds right now. And one of the fun things that you can do with those clear times is you can challenge yourself. To, to、uh, beat your dungeon faster and faster. Or you could、uh, challenge a friend to see if they might be able to, to、uh, beat your dungeon in a faster time. So I was wondering if Anuma san, <laughs> <laughs> would you please、uh, play through this dungeon and, and see if you could please beat my clear time? Anuma san, you can play through this dungeon and see if you could please beat my clear time. Anuma san, you can play through this dungeon and see if you could please beat my clear time. That's a big ask, but I'll do my best. So I'm a game developer, but I'm not very good at games. But I'll, I'll do my best. This is a great, rare treat for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Ainuma san, of course, has spent, I'm sure, many, many years、uh, thinking about the dungeon arrangement and the flow of a player's movements through a dungeon and about pacing the puzzles properly. So I'm really curious to see how he's going to get on with this dungeon where I've thought about none of yeah, those things. Yeah, how much time have you spent thinking about those things, Sam? <laughs> This was designed to torture other treehouse members. Yeah,、right? yes. yeah <laughs> apologies. I, I admittedly,、um, I did include some more devious elements here.、Uh, yeah, using the map is, is really a, an effective way to get through this particular dungeon. <laughs> いい感じですね、so I'm gonna go through that route and try to get that key over there that where I, you saw the cursor h u v e r Okay. He's calling his shots.、He's、I like being it. He's strategic. I like yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, these guys could be really challenging.、Yeah. They're more like a timing puzzle almost. Yeah. <laughs> trying to defeat them. And, and as you mentioned,、uh, since it times your completion, it's a real fun and terrible treat to try and best your friend's time、right. beating a dungeon. <laughs> He's doing, he's doing really well doing so really far. Well. So, yeah, I said, a,、uh, I think my clear time again was like seven minutes, 42、yeah. seconds. So, he's, <laughs> he's on a really good pace right now. Already got another key. But this is almost like a, a randomizer of sorts. So, these are all familiar rooms. So, you've seen these rooms in other dungeons.、Um, and and Dompe will create these, these chambers、mm -hmm. for you. And even though you know the puzzle, you may know the way through it, because they're all arranged in a completely different order, it's a new type of challenge. Yes, and that really adds someone, even if you're somebody who has memorized every corner of this game, all of those、uh, dungeons, those rooms become brand new when you or a friend has arranged them into something completely different. Right. Quickly dispatching all of those keys and finding yet another treasure chest. This isn't、It、his only... first Zelda rodeo. Yeah, <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> 
I think it's really funny. Uh, Anum san, that. Uh, oh, he knew about uh, your yeah. genius. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love using those spinning blades because usually when you walk into a room in Zelda, uh, you're, you're thinking about, okay, what kind of puzzle am I going to face here? What kind of, am I going to have a challenging enemy that I'm uh -huh. going to need to battle? But with those spinning blades, uh, the challenge really is just walking into the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really can shake your confidence. Oh, uh, using I'm the map again. I'm gonna check the map again. Yeah. Yeah, what I was saying earlier, I think it's really funny oh. that uh, <laughs> that Anuma-san uh, has Rock's feather on Y because the... The crap dancer, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, the, in Breath of the Wild, the jump button was X, so I always put Rock's feather on X. So <laughs> that's <laughs> so you could, uh, you know, avoid that enemy with jumping, but you know what? Sometimes you fail. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's he's making really great time through this dungeon. Yeah, I'm just pushing those enemies off the edge. Right. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> he might just beat your time, Sam. I, I'm he's thinking. Making a I'm for thinking it. that's gonna happen. <laughs> so the the ooh. chamber. Ooh. Yeah, this room is a little bit challenging. So yeah, those chamber dungeon challenges come in two parts, and you're going to have different conditions that you need to fill for those challenges, for both the arrangement portion of the challenge, but also through the adventure portion of the challenge. Oh, oh nice! <laughs> Already, <laughs> my wow. goodness! Wow, he's only at two minutes. Yeah. Do you see that? I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I'm kind of uh, awestruck. I don't know. Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, <laughs> oh no! What's <laughs> All right, you've got it. There you go. <laughs> he's oh. trying to make your time feel yeah. better, Sam. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's just delaying to try and make me feel better. Oh, he's already at the boss. Wow. Yeah, he's already oh, at the nightmare. The boss now. And this is a really fun one. Yeah. Uh, I like this guy. Yeah, this isn't your uh, kind of standard. Hit him three times uh -huh. and, you're, and you're done, kind of boss. Yeah, as we briefly mentioned, so all of the characters, the bosses, the NPCs in this game are so unforgettable. Right. So quirky. I like how they, yeah, they kind of talk to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's giving you a little clue kinda about what you. to do here. <laughs> Got a bit of an attitude on that one. But if I beat him, wouldn't it be a spoiler? Are we okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, this is only for the, the the boss of the the second dungeon in the game, so I think maybe it's still early. But yeah, he's making really too. quick work of it. But I really like the sequence. He's using a technique, actually, that I've never seen before. He's staying really close to the boss and then getting mm -hmm. under the fireballs, yep. which is not something that I've seen before. No, I think I the normal strategy yeah. is to get hit by lots of fireballs. Right. <laughs> yeah. That may be different from the original game, too. This has more of a 3D feel to it. I don't right. Know. <laughs> no, that's yeah. true. I can tell you for sure. Oh. It's been 26 years. Oh, and he's in, the, he's in the second phase. Oh. Nice. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't know oh, you, you could hit multiple times there. <laughs> am, am I doing pretty well? He's, He's doing, doing great. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Go through my this. <laughs> I think you're making him angry, though. Yeah, He's got this. Rate. He's going to laugh you, I think. I, I was going to say, at this rate, he's going to shave <laughs> oh, four minutes off my time. Goodness him. gracious. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how nice you do that. Work. Yeah. Nice work. Nice work. And a Stop new record, 50. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Completely obliterating my dungeon clear time. <laughs> Thank you so much for Good playing through that. Thank I appreciate you for it. Us it doesn't seem to have tripped you up all that much. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I, we're running low on time for, for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. But before we go, we had something really cool that we wanted to share with everyone. And na, 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 na. Oh, yes, and it's this, this is little guy yeah. here. It's a new amiibo for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Yes. And he's so shiny and adorable. Oh, my and God. And I'm never letting him go. Yes. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to mess up some bokoblins and melt your heart. Yes. This amiibo is really so this might be the first amiibo where Link looks exactly like he's taken out of the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. He looks yes. just exactly yeah. like what he is in 100%. the game. 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. So what, what he's going to do for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is he's going to add into the chamber dungeon what's called a plus effect. 
and the plus effects are layered on top of the chambers, and they add a new gameplay variant to, to what would otherwise be a familiar room. So what uh, Link adds, uh, the Link's Awakening amiibo here, what he adds is Shadow Link to your dungeon. And Shadow Link uh, is not like a, a normal mini boss where you fight him in a single room. He'll actually chase you through several uh -huh. different rooms. Oh, wow. So if you're <laughs> playing through your own chamber dungeon and you add Shadow Link and you defeat him, you can earn a lot of rupees. So that's a, that's a great thing to do if you're maybe running low in the main game. <laughs> okay. But it's also a fun thing to do if you have someone else play your chamber dungeon like I had out <laughs> on Umasan. I could have uh, laid a little trap for him and maybe placed uh, <laughs> Shadow Link on top of one of those chambers. And there are <laughs> other plus effects in the game that uh, we, we might be talking about a little bit more later. And uh, in addition to uh, the Link's Awakening amiibo, there's also the other Legend of Zelda series amiibo will work with the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, but not just that. Any Legend of Zelda character amiibo will work with the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So if you have uh, from the Smash Brothers series, if you have Sheik or uh, Ganondorf or something yeah. like that, so will also work with this game. So you don't need this, right, Sam? No, no, I need You've it. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hole in my heart yes. already. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to share this beautiful new amiibo with everybody. It's absolutely lovely. Yes. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's all the time we have for uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Next up, we have a new trailer for a different game. And after that, we're going to see some live gameplay of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. So stay tuned to Treehouse Live. Thank you, Anu. Thank you.